The renovated Brockville Railway Tunnel was officially opened for the 2018 season this past Saturday, March 31st. Hundreds gathered around the south end of the tunnel in Arma Sifton Price Park on Saturday morning for speeches by local dignitaries and live music by County Road 5. Last summer uh, we had the opportunity to see this uh, project come to completion and it in conjunction with the Aquatarium have made Brockville a wonderful place to now come and visit that you can actually go to tourist attractions. You know who would have thought that that first weekend in August when we uh, opened the tunnel that we'd have 25,000 people go through it. It, it was truly an amazing weekend and, and over uh, the summer uh, this tunnel uh, far punched above its weight. We had so many people come, so many people get to experience the history of uh, Canada's first railway tunnel. This is an incredible project. It's the oldest tunnel in Canada. It's the very first tunnel in Canada, railway tunnel. And there's been a lot of work and effort gone into opening it up and making it the attraction that it is. The volunteers, we just heard about all the people that have kicked in. They do need a little bit more work, so if you think that this is one of the best projects you've ever seen, then kick in, help out if you can. Just after 11 a.m., the tunnel was open to the public. The tunnel is now open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Canada's first railway tunnel was completed in 1860 for the Brockville and Ottawa Railway and later owned and operated by the Canadian Pacific Railway until being acquired by the city of Brockville in 1983. The tunnel reopened after extensive renovations in August 2017 during the Rails to Trails Festival. That weekend, over 25,000 visitors toured the tunnel. Brockville's tunnel is a remarkable example of Canadian pre-Confederation industrial heritage that has now been restored and repurposed for recreation, tourism and economic development. For Hometown TV 12 News, Dale Elliott in Brockville.